Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my DVD and Blu-ray update for September 7th. And in this update, I'm going to show you four DVDs and nine Blu-rays that I've gotten uh, probably about over the past three months. Um, I know it's been a long time since I did uh, an update, a uh, DVD and Blu-ray update. Uh, the last one I did was back in June, so it's, a, like I said, a good three months that, of stuff that I got. So let's get started. Uh, the first one I got um, is A Thousand Words, uh, which I'm going I'm to start with the DVDs first. But um, I got A Thousand Words with uh, Eddie Murphy. And this is a, I thought this was a good movie. Um, not perfect though, but um, it's, you know, enjoyable though. But it's about Eddie Murphy as this uh, sort of uh, agent, this literary agent and he has to make a deal with um, a book deal with this uh, this guru and the guru he goes to uh, the guru's uh, like place and he touches a tree and the next night uh, the tree grows in his backyard and when he talks when Eddie Murphy talks the leaves fall off the tree and if you know he and if there's only one leaf on the tree and if it falls, then he dies. Um, Eddie Murphy dies, though. But uh, I, like I said, this was a really, you know, enjoyable movie. I liked it. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, um, but you know, I'd say it's worth a watch. It's a good movie. And I remember this movie got. This was filmed back in 2008, and it was supposed to be released back in 2009. But there was some sort of uh, issue with uh, Paramount and uh, DreamWorks. I um, think they were, uh, they were, you know, teaming up. Like, it was caught up in a uh, separation uh, from both Paramount and DreamWorks. And they had to do uh, reshoots, though, for the movie. But uh, I say check it out. It's a good movie. Uh, I recommend it if you like Eddie Murphy, though. And the next one I got is a really underrated um, Nicolas Cage movie. I think this is his uh, second movie that he did. And it's Birdie. This is his one of his earlier uh, films. It stars uh, him and uh, Matthew Modine. I think that's how you pronounce his name. But this is a really, really good movie. Um, it's probably one of my favorite Nicolas Cage movies. Um... I've heard nobody talk about this movie, and nobody even has even done a review of this movie here on YouTube. But um, might do a, I will do a movie review on it, um, since there's no reviews of this movie uh, on YouTube, and haven't seen nobody talk about it though. But um, it's a really, really good movie. Um, I say check it out, and it's directed by um, Alan Parker, who directed a. Uh, Angela's Ashes, uh, among other stuff, and Angela's Ashes is uh, one that I one movie that I said I might review. And next one I got uh, these are two TV shows that I got, and they're all fairy tale uh, type shows. And the first one I got is uh, one of my favorite uh, shows uh, from last season, um, and it is a really awesome show. I talked about it a lot. And it's uh, Grimm. Uh, this is the complete first season. Uh, really, really awesome show. It's you know, so it's a fairy tale, sort of a fairy tale show. It's uh, dark and you know sometimes gory, uh, which I really like. Uh, of course, I have the poster over here also, but you can't see it because uh, it's sort of a uh, glarish. But uh, yeah, so I'm a huge, huge fan of this show. Um, it came with a limited, it's a limited time only if you buy the DVDs, if you could find it with this, um, to, it has two collectible trading cards, uh, which I'll show though, um, I have them in my drawer over here, here but, uh, this is what it came with, it came with an advertisement for, uh, the new season. Uh, which starts 
um, which already started already, and this season's been uh, really, really awesome. It's, in my opinion, better than, uh, you know, this first season, but I still like, I still love uh, the first season, though. It's a good season, and uh, the packaging on this is shitty, though, because look, you open it up. I mean, it's a good DVD, though, but you open it up like that. You have the episodes there, but see see that it's good good artwork there. But see these discs right here. See how it's packaged. When you pull it out, you feel like you're gonna scratch. Uh, you know the disc. You know I hate when these studios put these put DVDs and packaging and package them like this. You know it's no good. So you could, you could scratch the DVD though, but uh, like I said, it came it came with this advertisement for the new season in the DVD, and then two uh, trading cards right there, and uh, right here there's another one, and on the back it tells you information about them. See, this is a uh, this character's name is Monroe, and he's a blue butt, and uh. This one here is a uh, Anna is a uh, Annabeth, uh, the character. I think it I think it was her name, but she's um she's a uh, hex and beast. But yeah, it's cool that they put these that they put these in the DVD. Um, but if you haven't seen the show, uh, I would recommend it. It's awesome. Uh, if you like dark and gritty gritty stuff and gory uh, suggest you pick this DVD up uh, and definitely check out this show it comes on uh, it starting uh, Fridays uh, I forgot the date though but um, it's coming Fridays at 9 o'clock on NBC um, but they did give it early though um, uh, it premiered after the uh, Olympics uh, which is which is cool. I'm just gonna find the date when uh, it starts. Uh, when you know the new episode start. Well, it started like I said after the Olympics, which was uh, August 13th. But man, it's oh September 28th. It starts. Uh, you know, it goes back to its regular Friday night uh, schedule, but. I said it's one of the best shows on Friday nights. Uh, highly, highly watch this show. It's awesome. And the next one that I got is the complete first season. This is another fairy tale show. It's the complete first season of Once Upon a Time. Uh, really, really like this show. Um, I don't love it as much as Grimm. You know, it's Grimm right here. I don't love it. I don't love Once Upon a Time as much as Grimm. But it's it's still a good show though. It's uh, like I said, fairy tale stuff, and um, you know has to deal with fairy tales. And this is another show that I talked about. Uh, I talked about this and Grimm in a, a vlog. But uh, I I would recommend this show. It's really really good. Um, new season starts September thirtieth. Um, the second season, though, and I just love the uh, the cover to this. Really cool, and then on the DVD you have uh, some sort of a uh, different design of a uh, of Storybrook, uh, which is the town, which is the town that uh, the fictional town that the show was set in. But uh, really, really uh, watch the show; it's really good. And on to the Blu-rays now. Um, see how much time I have. Okay. But uh, these are the Blu-rays that I got. Uh, the first one I got was uh, 21 Jump Street. Um, I did a review on this movie. Uh, Sword in Theaters. So uh, I'm going to post a link to uh, my review of this. But I uh, really, really love this movie. It's hilarious. Uh, like I said, I saw it in the, th in the theater. And just a fun movie. I know they're doing a sequel to this, um, which I heard it's planning. They're 
probably filming it, but uh, yeah, so just check out this movie. Um, it's really, really hilarious. Uh, I would recommend it if you haven't watched the TV show, though. Um, and the next one I got was The Truman Show uh, with Jim Carrey. Uh, in my opinion, uh, this is uh, also on my list of favorite Jim Carrey movies. It's a really, really good movie. Um, uh, I'll do a review on this movie because I want to talk about it, um, you know, about it more. But, uh, you know, just give a full-fledged review on it. So, yeah, so if you haven't seen The Truman Show, check it out. And next one I got was Total Recall, the original with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, this is the mind-bending edition, which they uh, did a new transfer of this movie at a 4K restoration. And it looks really, really good, uh, the, the restoration. It's a, it was approved by director Paul Verhoeven. And this is probably my second Paul Verhoeven movie next to RoboCop. Um, but everyone knows about Total Recall, so... Uh, I know the remake already came out. Uh, it's you know it's been out though, but haven't got a chance to watch the remake. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably watch the remake online, but I heard it's you know the same as this movie, but changed differently. So yeah, so check out Total Recall, if, the original, if you haven't seen it. And next one I got was The Fifth Element with Bruce Willis, uh, Gary Oldman, Ian Holm, and Chris Tucker. And Mila Jovit, uh, who you all know from the Resident Evil movies. Um, but this was a good movie. Uh, really, really beautiful movie. Uh, this, you know, the sets, uh, the flying cars. And it's about like Bruce Willis as a, uh, he works as like a taxi uh, worker. He's a taxi worker. He drives a taxi around. And Mila Jovic's character comes and they say that there's sort of like this, um, this like, what is it? I forgot what it was called. It was like they had to define like this, like this thing that could unlock uh, this f fifth element stuff. But um, it was really good movie. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Oh. Um, sadly, it doesn't have any features. Uh, the Blu-ray. But I know there's a two disc DVD out. So. Uh, but anyways. Uh, it looks good on Blu-ray. Uh, the sound's good. And. Uh, I say. You know it's worth the watch. It's a good movie. And the next one I got was. Uh, Spawn. Um, with Michael Jai White. And this is the director's cut. And I know a lot of people don't like this movie. Um, I, I personally like it. I haven't read the comics, uh, when I was a kid. Um, but it's a good movie. It's not great though, but it's not the best comic book movie out there. But it's still enjoyable if you haven't read the comics. But, uh, it's worth the watch. You know, if you have, like I said, if you haven't read the comics though. But I'll do a review on this movie. Uh, but check out Spawn. And then the next one I got was The Hunger Games. And I did a review on this movie also. Uh, I'll post uh, the link to it. But I really did enjoy this movie. It's a really good movie. Um, just, I would recommend it. It's a good movie. And the next one I got was The Dictator. Uh, this is another movie that I did a review on. And I'll post the link to it. The review. But uh, this is the Best Buy exclusive with the, uh, the sort of beard there. Uh, I don't know if they sell this uh, key, this cover anymore, this slip cover anymore at Best Buy. But uh, this is a funny movie. Uh, I really, really loved it. Um, this is the only Sasha Baron Cohen movie that I saw. So it's it's a funny movie. Although a lot of people don't like it though, but from what I heard. So yeah. So anyways, uh, I'm going to stop here for part two. And I'll see you all in part two.